uh, hold shift and pan over to the other side add target tracks and uh, go to the and then uh, you can use the arrow keys to uh, play forward and backwards through your sequence okay let's this. Over here. And as you can see, it's uh, sticking uh, very well to the footage without me putting any keyframes there. With uh, about five keyframes, you can see here on every uh, on every corner here. With five keyframes, it sticks very well to the corners. Uh, okay, right click, toggle edit mode and deselect. Now you can go to, back to 3D view and you can see these four corners on a plane here. And uh, now I'm going to rotate the scene so I'll select all of these points, go to uh, scene geometry, add coordinate from hint, uh, XY plane, connect to selected and update coordinate frame. Now you can see it's on the plane here and the camera is right as it should be and uh, now the final thing I want to do here in Visual is uh, select all these four 3d tasks generate mesh here's the table uh, as you can see it uh, you can uh, let this play through it sticks perfectly to the uh, uh, table surface and uh, I can use this uh, mesh to uh, place my uh, pots on and uh, it will be... Over. No, one more thing. Uh, to make sure it everything isn't so extremely small in uh, downscaled in uh, 3ds Max, I'm going to do one more thing here. There's 3D and uh, I select these two points. Oh, oh. I'm going to have to delete this mesh and select these two. Add coordinate from hint, known length, and I set it, I'll set it to 100. Connect to selected, update coordinate frame. You can see it spread them out a lot, and made everything bigger. So I'll select all of these again. 3D tasks, generate mesh using 3D view. Go back here and see it sticks very well okay uh, now it's time to export the camera and uh, I'm going to uh, export this as a uh, max script file and uh, right here camera soul okay and uh, save and uh, this looks good, moving camera static scene, yeah, and press save. And then I will also export the mesh. File name can be table, browse, skateboard, tutorial, yeah, here is good. I can call that table two. OK, and press OK. Uh, now we're done in Bushu, and uh, I will uh, switch over to 3ds Max. OK, uh, now we are in uh, 3ds Max uh, version uh, 2010. And uh, we can, I will start with uh, importing the camera solve. Uh, navigate to the folder and just drag and drop it in the perspective view uh, then you can press C to see uh, the camera view and uh, as you drag the time slider you can see uh, the points are moving press alt and B to uh, in the display background and press OK then I press uh, shift F to uh, make the uh, make it the correct aspect ratio and if you hold uh, 
dan de uh, I don't know what it's called point I think uh, uh, dot of course uh, now we can uh, see uh, the clip playing through and these markers uh, on the corners of the table if you press D you can get rid of the grid and uh, now you can uh, delete all these markers go to uh, import and navigate to your folder with your mesh that you exported from Bushi uh, import as editable poly uh, uh, you should uh, flip your C Y axis uh, if you haven't uh, already done that in Bushu as I uh, forgot to show you how to do so I uh, press this and it will be all good uh, import from files file yeah then uh, press import uh, if the table gets black you delete it and import it again and then press flip normals and now we can see the table in here exactly over the uh, surface of the table and uh, uh, we will texture this uh, plane later on and uh, now I'm going to model the pot it's actually only one pot uh, and it's copied and uh, we scaled a little bit around uh, so that it uh, was more than one and uh, I will begin with uh, importing uh, this okay this is the uh, pot I'm going to use uh, but I have to, cr to crop it so that I can use it in uh, uh, so that it will be good to use so uh, I will open it in Photoshop right uh, I, oops. I forgot to open this sorry Almost done. Yeah. So now we're in Photoshop, and uh, I'll I press no. uh, take the crop tool and just uh, draw around this pot and extend the edges so that it's approximately. Uh, to consuming control plus uh, and uh, to the edges is perfect block that and then I press enter and file save as jpeg pot so I can I can just overwrite this yeah maximum quality okay uh, then we go to uh, here and we drag this image to the front and uh, we deselect an environment environment map okay and then press alt b and press uh, lock zoom and pan and match bitmap okay uh, now it is uh, like it should be press alt w to maximize the frame and press g to get rid of the grid 